Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my January Ipsy Glam Bag Unbagging. This is the first Glam Bag of 2020. And I was surprised because I usually always get my Glam Bag before either my Plus or my Ultimate and it usually comes anywhere from the 8th to the 10th of the month. Today is January 16th so it came pretty late and surprisingly I got my Ultimate on like the 10th and if you guys haven't seen that video I will link it down below. So I don't know why it came later than usual but I still wanted to share what I got inside my bag. But anyways don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below. And without further ado if you guys would like to see what goodies are in January's glam bag then just keep watching. So first off is this background. I just wanted to switch things up a little bit years ago I actually used to use this background so let me know what you guys think and next let's get into the shipping so I had no issues with my ultimate actually no the issue that I had is that it never said it shipped and it was at my door so it came super early and I got the link that it shipped after it was delivered so I don't know what the problem was there and a couple of you guys said that you had that um, same exact thing happen to you and then for my regular Ipsy it said that it shipped out or it was in route to the processing center on DHL's link that it said that it shipped it um, that was on the 7th and it was in route to the distribution center for days and then it finally got to Massachusetts. It usually goes to Massachusetts before it comes to New York. And it was sitting, I think it got to Massachusetts like maybe four, four days ago. And it was sitting there for like three days. And then it finally got here. So I don't know what was going on. Um, you know, I don't know why it took so long. But I figured I would just update you guys because I usually do every month. So if you have any issues, feel free to let me know. So this is January's stunning bag. It has this beautiful marble print and this baby pink zipper. And honestly, the baby pink really complements the marble print. I didn't think, like you wouldn't think that they would go together. But they really do. This looks like my bathroom countertops. And the ultimate, just so you guys can see, that's what the ultimate looks like. It matches. I'm actually going to be traveling in a couple weeks, so I can kind of like bring these together. They match. I did skip the plus this month, as I was saying, but if you guys are wondering, that's what the ultimate bag looks like. So this first product, I was a little shocked to see because it's pretty much the size of a full-size highlighter that I own, which I will show you. But anyways, it's Ofra Cosmetics and Nikki Tutorial's Glow Goals Highlighter. It says, here at Ipsy, we're all about celebrating your unique beauty. That's why we're stoked about this collab with makeup artist and beauty vlogger Nikki Tutorial's. This powder highlighter has a peachy gold tint that makes skin look lit from within, and the super smooth texture blends out and builds up so easily. So I don't think this is, obviously it's not an Ipsy collab, and I believe, I don't know if this is a new Nikki tutorials collab but I believe a few years ago she did have a collab with Oprah, Oprah excuse me because I have one of the highlighters but um, this highlighter is right up my alley you guys it's on my cheeks today I wanted to show you the power of Oprah highlighters I'm obsessed and my favorite highlighter that I use pretty much every day is Rodeo Drive from Ofra Rodeo Drive excuse me from Ofra I got this in a plus I don't know like about a year ago so I just wanted to show you guys like this is a full size and I know that these are like $27 like the full size um, highlighters unless like this like this one's thicker they look the same like pan size to me so that is crazy that they're including a full size highlighter I will definitely take it now in terms of like color I just want to quickly compare they're very similar but I would say Rodeo Drive this one right here is just a little bit hint like it's a hint more of gold and this is a hint more of champagne, but I'm obsessed. Ofra highlighters are my favorite. It is stunning, and your highlight will be on fleek. So hopefully you guys got this. I'm so excited. So next is this Fighting Ferdinand lipstick in Very Berry. It says an Ipsy HQ must have. This beautiful berry lipstick is go-to for cozy evenings, nights on the town, or any festivity in between. Plus it keeps your lips nourished, hydrated, and smooth in chilly temps thanks to castor seed oil and Jehovah esters. Now typically when I receive lip products, I like to wear them to show you guys. I attempted to do that with this lipstick. I do not like the color. This is just, it's... This is not a color that I would wear every day, and it even looked like a different color on my lips than it does like that. 
and I just had to take it off. I did not like the way it looked. I just don't like the color. And honestly, the formula, I just felt like I had to keep go, like applying it because I felt like it was sheer and I felt like it looked like I had, like it looked like I had, what do you call it, butt lips where you can see the inside of your lips and I kept like doing, oops. Okay, so you guys definitely just saw that. I definitely just got this on my nose, so I had to fix that, and I don't even know if you can, like, still tell my nose is red. So I felt like I kept applying the lipstick, and I felt like I still had butt lips where, like, I could see my lips, my regular lip color in the middle. It just looked weird. It wasn't working with me, and color-wise, this is just, it's too deep for me, too dark. This is not an everyday color. Um, that's what it looks like. I don't know. I just am not really a fan of this, you guys. I really don't like it. It honestly doesn't even, like, it looks like berry, but it's, like, not. It's, like, more of, like, a pinkish berry. Uh, so, yeah, I just was not a fan of this. Definitely not something that I would gravitate toward or wear. Um, that would not be something that would have appeared on my profile. So the third item is Nomad Cosmetics Nomad and Marrakesh Medina Intense Eyeshadow in Henna. It says no time for a winter getaway. Nomad Cosmetics products are inspired by destinations around the world and this deep matte brown shade is named for Henna Creations found in Marrakesh, if I'm saying that correctly. Marrakech, they spelled it with a C, but then the collab has an S in it. So the finely milled powder is made with moisturizing argan oil and blends easily for crease-proof color. So let's just see. It's like, like on the card, it shows like a nice brown shade. So let me just open this up and show you guys. That's what it looks like. I mean, I could use this on my outer V, but I don't know. I'm just not really a fan of the color. Um, yeah, I mean, I could use it on my outer V, but... I don't know. I just don't know about this one, you guys. I'm not really, like, a huge fan of the shade. But anyways, again, that is Nomad Cosmetics, Nomad, and Marrakesh Medina Intense Eyeshadow and Henna. This next item I saw, and I'm like, I really need to stop getting face masks, but this is not a face mask because in my Ultimate, if you guys saw that, I got, like, four face masks, and I have so many face masks that I need to use. And I just, I don't know, I just don't use face masks. I'm not really good about them. Um, but anyways, this is not a face mask. This is Han Hu, if I'm saying that correctly, Bubble Up Peeling Pad with Collagen. It says that this double-sided si double foaming pad from Han Hu is one of the most unique products we've tried. It cleanses, exfoliates, and evens out your skin tone in one easy step. Plus, it's infused with healthy ingredients like witch hazel to shrink your pores and enzyme powder to gently dissolve dead skin cells. So I am definitely going to try this out in a little bit once I'm done filming. I'm going to try this out in the shower. It says that it comes with five pads, so... I will be interested to try this out. The last but not least is this H2O Beauty Oasis Ultra Hydrating Cream. It says it's the season for seriously skin quenching formulas. And this moisture pack treatment from Thirsty Skin Experts, H2O Plus, is proven to double your skin's hydration level for up to 24 hours. Pretty major. Plus, the lightweight texture absorbs in seconds to leave, your, leave you looking plump and smooth, never greasy. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, let's just, I just want to see, like, what the consistency is. I mean, this is good to bring traveling with me so I don't have to bring, like, my big moisturizer. I just want to see kind of, like, what the, it's almost like a blue lightweight gel. So, yeah, I kind of like the way that it feels. I don't know if you guys can, like, see that, but it's almost like a clear, with, like, a hint of blue. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera. And it does, it doesn't really smell too weird. It does smell a little chemically. <laughs> but um, anyway, so yeah, I will have to give this a go. This is the H2O Plus Beauty Oasis Ultra Hydrating Cream. Honestly, you guys, I was not really impressed with this month's glam bag. And the last time I said this about a regular glam bag was... I don't even know. I started getting the regular glam bag back in June of 2019. And ever since then, I've been pretty impressed with my glam bag. I was not impressed. The only product that I care for and I'm shocked about is this. So I am happy that I got this Ofra highlighter. This will get used probably every single day along with this. But other than that, I didn't really care for the products. I don't like this color of this lipstick and I didn't really like the way um, it went on. I'm not really crazy about, I'm, I'm not really crazy about getting all these single eyeshadows anymore. Like I have a ton, um, but the color, I mean, it's okay. I don't know. I don't want to be like a negative Nancy. Um, so yeah, I mean, this month's was not really that great, but 
like I tell you guys, there's you're always going to have those months where you're just like not that impressed. And I've been on a great like streak of glam bags where every month I'm just like, wow. And surprisingly, the first month Ultimate came out, I was so disappointed. And I was like, oh my God, my glam bag is just, it's just like great. And this month I got the Ultimate. I decided to try it again because I forgot to cancel it. So I had no choice. But I was actually pretty impressed with the Glam Bag Ultimate. I did like a lot of the products that I got, just not so much this. The bag is cute though. I will say that this bag I am obsessed with, but other than the bag and this highlighter, I just really didn't care for this month's products. And the other thing I wanted to mention too, you guys, is I have two Ipsy accounts. One of them I had to create when I was collaborating with Ipsy uh, a couple years ago. Uh, they couldn't um, collaborate with me under my regular email. And I um, have points on that one. And then I have points on, because um, I was getting my plus on that one. And then for my normal um, you know, account, I get my regular and then I get the ultimate. So I wrote them about consolidating my points. And they pretty much said that I couldn't do it because I would just like to get um, all three on one account and not two on one and one on the other. And I would like to consolidate my points. I have like over 6,000 points on the other one. And they pretty much told me that they can't do that because they don't want me to like give my points to somebody or they can't. I don't even know. And I was really disappointed. I'm going to write them back again because that's bull. That Those are my points. I earn them. Uh, why can't you transfer them to this account? Why can't I consolidate points? I think that's kind of like bull crap and I'm disappointed. So I just wanted to let you know, have you guys ever not let you know? Oh, I wanted to let you know, but I also wanted to ask you guys, have you ever tried to like, not that you would even have two accounts, but have you ever tried to consolidate your points and they gave you a hard time about it? I'm going to fight tooth and nail to get them transferred over because that's ridiculous. But I figured I would ask, let me know. And lastly, yesterday I put up my first ever Sephora play unboxing video. I will have it linked down below and that was great I liked the products in that much better than the Ipsy and partially why I got the I wanted to start uh, trying out the Sephora play is because I want to branch out and get um, different subscriptions other than Ipsy and with Sephora you're always going to get those designer high-end brands that are recognizable from Sephora and Ulta and Ipsy used to be like that, and it's not like that anymore, and I'm not trying to be negative. I know it's an opportunity to, you know, discover new brands and try new brands, but I feel like um, Ipsy's really gone down in terms of, like, high-end recognizable brands, and I know a lot of you agree with me, so I was really impressed with my um, this month's Sephora play, so if you guys haven't checked that out, I will link it down below. But anyways, let me know in the comments down below, how was your regular Ipsy glam bag? Did you like all the products you got? Are we bag twins? Did you hate the products you got? Do you um, like any of the products that I did not like? Um, let me know what you think. I would be curious to find out. But anyways, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.